I'm going to show you today how to extract metal from its metal oxide ore. Um, the example that I'm going to use is copper oxide. I'm going to extract it using carbon by heating it strongly in a crucible. So this is my copper oxide that I'm going to put in first. Uh, I'm going to put roughly equal quantities of copper oxide and carbon in. Uh, let's put a couple of spatulas worth in, right down to the bottom of this empty, nearly empty tub. One, two, uh, let's do three. three. Okay. I'm also going to put in some carbon as well, which looks very, very similar, just another black powder. Even quantity, man. Oh, that was a bit bigger, I'll do two of these. Oh, there we go, very big. And I'm going to give these a mix up together to get them evenly mixed in my crucible. And now, as well as that, on top, I'm just going to add one more layer of carbon over the top of my powder to help it along. And now I'll put my lid back on. And now it should just be a case of lighting a Bunsen burner. I want it strongly heated, so I'm going to put it on the blue flame for a while. And tap up. So now I've finished heating my uh, copper oxide and carbon, the carbon will have reacted with the copper and because the carbon is more reactive than the copper, uh, than the copper it will have removed some of the, um, well, all of the oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Uh, now if I can tip this up into the water here we should see any metal that's produced will fall to the bottom. And any unreacted stuff, like any leftover carbon or copper oxide, will float on the top. Just a question of whether I can keep hold of the crucible, whether it's going to fall into the water. Ooh. I haven't quite got all that out, let's give it a bit of a scrape around in the bottom to get the rest of it. Now, it has worked, but unfortunately, an awful lot of the carbon is sunk to the bottom as well. But down there at the bottom, hope, uh, you can see we've got some big old chunks of copper that have formed. Okay, so that's how we extract metal from metal oxides. Now, this method only works because uh, copper is below carbon in the reactivity series, um, which means that the carbon can remove the oxygen from the copper oxide. Anything that's above carbon in the reactivity series, like potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, or aluminium, will need to be extracted by another method, for example, electrolysis, uh, which is a method I've shown in another video on, my, uh, on our, this channel.